The Hopkinton Hillers took on Ashland for the TVL championship in swimming. The meet was a mixed meet with the boys and girls team. The Hillers ended up losing by a single point due to a coach's scoring error. The boys are now 6-3 while the girls are 7-1 overall. But both teams still have a couple meets ahead, including the TVL dive meet at the Keith Tech Pool as well as postseason competition. The White Hot Hillers hockey team took on Assabet on their home ice at Navin Arena in Marlboro, and the offense once again exploded. Yeah, I missed it too. Here's a shot and a goal by Finlayson from between the circles. It's Finlayson and races in. He, he, he hits Abbott perfectly and he scores. Oh, what a pretty pass by Cam Finlayson. Will Abbott finished, and that gives the Hillers a 2-0 lead 30 seconds in to the second period. Behind the net, the Lindquist's double team. Now Sloan with it. Oh, nice backhand. Shot and a goal! It's put in by Delaney. Well, Jack Sloan went behind his back. He threw it out to Delaney, and Delaney jammed it in, and the Hillers now lead 3-0. Abbott comes and chases, he steals the puck. Takes it away from Delaney. Now Simos. Simos gets to the circle. Cross ice it goes to Dan Delaney. Delaney Arista, that's in goal! It's tipped in front. Delaney's gonna get credit for it, but it went off a defenseman and the Hillers have put their third goal here in the second period up on the board and take a four to nothing lead. They look pretty solid here. They Oh, there's a shot and a goal in front, and Abbott puts it in to give the Hillers a 5-0 lead. Oh, he was on the doorstep right inside the circle, and a bouncing puck came to him, and he just hammered it home, except the penalty. It's a slash. A slap shot from Pickens in from the point. It's a goal. Not sure if it was tipped in front. I think Will Pickens got it, and if he did, for Will, that is his second goal of the season. And the Hillers, with a power play goal in seven seconds. The Hillers hockey team got their fourth shutout of the season, taking down Asabet six to nothing. Will Abbott scored two goals in the victory. The Hillers followed up with a great performance as they took down Norton on the road six to two. Steven Simos netted three goals for the Hillers as the playoff-bound varsity team improved to 12-2 overall. The Hillers boys basketball team split their last two games as they beat Holliston on Friday, January 29th, 59-45. They then fell to Medfield on the road Tuesday, February 2nd, 57-38. The Hillers boys now stand at 6-9, and nine, and they will need to win four of their final five games to clinch a playoff spot. The Hillers girls basketball team also split their last two as they defeated Holliston on the road, 55-39 to, to officially clinch a playoff spot as they earned their 10th win of the season. The girls fell to Medfield the following game on Tuesday the 2nd, 62-51. The playoff-bound girls team now stands at 10-4 overall on the season.